Good afternoon. My name is Adam Turpin. I was born in the city of Vancouver, and although I have traveled around the world a little bit now, I have always called Coquitlam my home. I have always had a very deep love and passion for music. I have always had a very deep love and passion for music. I started playing the piano when I was nine years old, and started playing the saxophone when I was 13. Halfway through grade 11, a friend of mine persuaded me to join the high school concert choir. And to both of us, it was the biggest joke in the world at the time. However, I soon came to love and thoroughly enjoy it. I graduated from Glen Eagle Secondary in Coquitlam in 2001 and entered into the Capilano College Bachelor of Music of Transit program that very same year. While at the time my primary instrument was the very sax, my academic advisor at the time, who was also my choir conductor and would soon become my vocal coach, persuaded me to change majors and pursue a future in voice. I did this, was very active in the choirs there, and I finally graduated from that program and entered into the UBC program in 2009 to complete my degree. I graduated from UBC in 2013 with my Bachelor's of Music degree. I have been an active member in the Capilano College Singers, with whom I have traveled to Europe twice, the Capilano College Festival Chorus, the UBC University Singers, the UBC Choral Union, the UBC Chamber Choir, the St. Andrews United Church Senior Choir, with whom I was the principal bass singer, and the Laudate Singers Chamber Choir in North Vancouver, which is headed by Lars Cario. I also, when I'm not doing music, for my current income, I'm working for the BC Liquor Stores, where I have gained quite a reputation as the singer at the till. <laughs> I have many of my customers come up to me, many of them repeat customers now, asking me to sing for them, and I've even made the newspaper as a result of this for my Christmas caroling. The article was entitled, Slinging Bottles, Singing Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to pursue a future in teaching music, not only because of my passion for music, but because of my passion for people. I want to inspire young people. I want to teach them life skills through music, and I want to teach them that coming together and creating something beautiful and musical can teach strong bonds which last through a lifetime, something that I was taught during my high school years. All of my happiest memories throughout high school are affiliated with music. Whether it be going on the amazing choir tours, having just wonderful concerts, or just getting together with my best friends just inside or even outside of class. Music created a strong bond in me, which is something that I wanted to carry on and teach to my students. From what I've witnessed in my high schooling, this creates strong bonds that last for the rest of people's lives. As I'm proud to say, I still talk to many of my classmates from my music classes in high school. And I myself want to be a contributing factor in bringing these students together and helping them see these bonds and helping them not only learn a talent, but learn more about friendship and in turn, learn more about themselves. When I'm not doing anything musical or working for the BC Liquor Store, I have many hobbies which include cycling, watching football, and especially one in creative writing, something I discovered when I was at Capilano College. In my time there, I've written two novels, three novellas, a screenplay, and even a poetry anthology, which was had one of the poems published in a Capilano College publication. It is through my music, though, that the writing came to fruition. I learned from a very young age that I'm able to see images whenever I listen to music, and by playing certain songs in sequence, I was able to come up with stories. Kind of ironic for me as a singer, I listen to a lot of instrumental music. I love the mu music of movie composers such as John Williams, James Horner, Jerry Goldsmith, and Danny Elfman, to name some examples. I want to take this talent and bring it into the classroom and help students see and hear music in ways they might not have before. In closing, I would like to include that I know students who grew up with a learning disability. I was never an academic, and it was the music that kept me going and allowed me to fulfill my dreams. And I want to pass this on to my students. I want to